Sorry, guys. I'm just languishing. Oh, I know. Actually, uh, we've talked with Sue about her languishing mm -hmm. uh, almost over the entire pandemic, you know, and even now that she's come, been able to come back to the studio here, she still feels that kind of lethargic, languishing feeling. And we want to ask you, too, do you ever have that feeling you just mm -hmm. can't describe? It's it's more than just being burnt out, but it's not as extreme as depression. No. And that's what we call languishing. Yeah. Uh, Subi says that's exactly how she still feels to this day, even though she came back here. Um, I mean, she she admits it. Uh, Dr. George James says there is a action you can take right now to start feeling better. And what's more, by the way, welcome, doctor. Thank we you. can eventually get to where we are the opposite of languishing, and that would be called flourishing. Really? Um, yes, Sue, it's not over. <laughs> Even though you're really languishing right yeah. now. Uh, doctor, let's help Sue first, what do you say? <laughs> first of all, how would you describe languishing? Well, uh, good morning, everybody. And, you know, it is something that we all have been experiencing during this pandemic in one way or another. It's been it's the emotional long haul of that we that we've been going through the difficulty, the pain, the loss. It's just overwhelming. And it does have that blah feeling. And, you know, Sue, I appreciate your willingness to, to share your story. And, I, you know, what I think about languishing, I think about like that that day that's just uh, just not really sunny. It's not really raining hard, but it's right. just like blah. You don't really want to do anything analogy. on that day. Yeah. <laughs> Sue, how do you describe how you're feeling? You know, it's not full on depression. Yeah. I mean, I still can function, but I almost have to force myself to do stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is my home uh, studio, which is still, uh, and I just like, <sighs> meh. But just you, you're feeling meh. that once you came back to work or even when you were at your home studio? No, still, I still feel it. I still no, feel it. Yeah. Well, what would she do? I know you always talk about, well, mix things up a little bit, maybe change the pace of the day. Yeah, you know, I think changing the pace of the day is really important because, like, you're going from feeling like a lack of energy, a lack of motivation, and you want to be able to, like, what are some small things that you can do to, to change up the pace? Maybe it is, for some people, getting in, like, a, a word game in the morning. Maybe it's learning a new word. Maybe it's some activity that changes hmm. up the pace that gives you some drive. Also, the thing that I encourage people to think about is gratitude. Like being grateful is a huge antidote for languishing, right? Being able to say, what am I thankful for? What are the things that I'm grateful for? And maybe even doing five things each day. The other thing is to do good for other people. That, you know, sometimes when we think about other people, when we take care of other people, or when we're kind to other people, it gives us that push, that energy, that drive to move out of meh to maybe even <laughs> starting to feel a little better. Yeah, get you outside of yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the opposite of this, they say, is flourishing. And I'll tell you this, once I got very sick from COVID, this was Thanksgiving through Christmas into early 2021. Uh, once I realized I wasn't, gonna die, wasn't going to die from it, I kind of, I, I, I was felt buoyant about it. I'm never going to complain about anything else. I got my vaccine too. And look at me. I, I got to hang out with Dr. Stanford and I was feeling pretty darn good. I still feel that way. Just being able to kind of survive it. Yeah, there is something about like being able to survive. And I think like some of that, you know, when we talk about flourishing, there's three M's, right? It's meaning, mastery, and mattering, right? So the meaning is like having purpose, like, oh, I'm, I survived, I'm gonna be good. I, I can do a lot of great things. Mastery is like having some confidence, feeling good about what you can do, learning more. And mattering is like that, the connection that we have with other people doing good. So that's where we can feel alive. We can feel like we are flourishing. We are in the zone. We are in a good place. And some people have been able to get there. Well, it's important, I guess, to know the difference and know what to do in each situation that you're experiencing. So thanks for helping to put a name on it so folks can mm -hmm. know what's going on. Get back to gratitude. My attitude. Your attitude. That's right. You so know, I, I try not I, uh, to languish anymore. I do know people that say it helps to write down things you're grateful for every day. I used to do that. Yeah. I should get back to that. Gratitude book. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Journal. Doctor, thank you. 
Well, thank you all. It is definitely a great practice. I encourage all my clients to have the gratitude journal, so please do it. It works. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. All right. Have a good one.